Hey, welcome to Geekamag and today we're going to talk about the various NVENC errors in OBS, their causes and the solutions for the same. If you're getting this particular one, it can be caused due to an outdated video card. The video card doesn't support NVENC encoding, the encoder settings are incorrect or there is a problem with the NVENC encoder itself. Another error that some get is the fail to open NVENC codec, generic error in an external library. This can be caused if the NVENC codec library is not installed, is corrupted or there is a problem with the video card driver. The fail to open NVENC codec function not implemented error is generally caused due to an outdated version of OBS Studio. Maybe the video card doesn't support NVENC encoding or there is a problem with the encoder itself. If you get the starting the output failed, please check logs for details error. There is a chance that you are running outdated graphics drivers, the hardware is unsupported, the settings are incorrect or certain files are corrupted. The NVENC error, too many concurrent sessions, generally shows up when you try to start a new streaming or recording session but you are already using all of the available NVENC encoding sessions. Or another program is using the NVENC encoding or there is a problem with the encoder itself. At last, if you're getting this error, there is a chance that NVENC encoder is either not responding or overloaded or has a problem with it. Now that we have understood the potential causes behind these NVENC errors, let's try to fix them using some troubleshooting steps. Do note that these steps apply to most of the previously mentioned errors. The first step is to perform a simple restart of OBS Studio because sometimes a restart is all you need. If that doesn't work, let's move on to the other ones. Ensure that you have a GPU that supports NVENC encoding in the first place. Just go to your browser and search if your card supports NVENC encoding. You should get your answer in the first few results. Now if it does support the encoding, there is a chance that your graphics drivers are outdated or corrupted. To fix that, you can download the latest drivers for your GPU from the NVIDIA website or install them directly from GeForce Experience software. Let's also make sure that we're running the latest version of OBS. To update the software, open it, go to the help option in the toolbar and then click on check for updates. If there is an update available, you'll get a prompt to download and install it. Once you click on update now, the software will restart with the latest version. Also confirm if the video encoder is set to NVENC. For that, go to OBS settings, click on output, locate the output mode and then select advanced. Now depending on your use case, go to streaming or recording settings, select video encoder and make sure it's set to NVENC H.264. Now click on apply or OK to save the changes. There is also a chance that OBS Studio may not have enough priority to access the GPU. To fix that, go to the settings, click on the advanced tab and in the process priority drop down, select either high or above normal. Click on apply to save the changes. Now close and reopen OBS to see if it fixes the issue. If not, let's try a full reinstallation of OBS Studio. Go to the window settings. Apps, Installed Apps, Find OBS and uninstall it. Now you can download the app from the official OBS website to reinstall it. There is also a possibility that you're using a high resolution output in OBS. Now this can strain your GPU. To adjust that, go to Settings, click on the Output tab, go to Recording or Streaming. And now, on the rescale output, reduce the resolution to something lower. If it's already set to 1080p, maybe try 720p and then click apply to save the changes. Also check if you're using the supported resolution for NVENC. The maximum supported resolution for NVENC is 4096 on the largest side. Make sure you do not cross that and are below that number. If none of these have worked so far, try using a different encoder. Instead of your GPU doing the encoding, you can ask your CPU to do the same. For that, go to Settings, click on the Output tab, find the Streaming or Recording section depending on your use case 
and under the video encoder switch to something like x264 for CPU or quicksync h.264 if available. Now click apply to save the changes. Reducing the frame rate can also help fix the OBS NVENC encoding overload error. Go to settings, switch to the video tab and in the common FPS values change it to 30 or something less. Yet again click apply. Let's also make sure that OBS gets enough power from our system. Right click on the desktop, select more options and click NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings in the left panel. Now under global settings on the right, scroll down to find power management mode and set it to prefer maximum performance. Now save these settings and relaunch OBS Studio to see if the issue is fixed. Some games also have an in-game overlay that can conflict with OBS and cause NVENC errors. The in-game overlay can be found in different places for different games. So we recommend searching the web to find the overlay setting for the game that you think is causing the issue. Overclocking and instability can also lead to such errors. If you have overclocked your GPU or CPU, try reverting it to default settings and see if the issue persists. Also monitor if the GPU temperatures aren't too high using tools like MSI Afterburner or EVGA Precision X1. If they are high, try cooling the system. Laptop users can also make sure that the system is connected to a power source and not running on battery while using OBS. For more detailed information, you can check out our article about the same topic. The link for it is in the description. We hope this video helps you fix the issue. If it did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.